In this tutorial, we are building a full-stack TypeScript application. This means that we are using a single programming language on the front-end and on the back-end. Specifically, on the back-end we are using Node.js and on the front-end we are using Vue.js. The goal for this tutorial is to build a yet another to-do application. Contrary to other tutorials, we will not stop on the front-end but I'm also covering backend and everything in between so that you have a full picture of developing a web application using Node and Vue.js free. Today we will see how we can persist a new task in a database. Right now we have this list of tasks and this form where we can type a new task and then we can add it. The task appears on the list but then when we refresh it it disappears because we are not persisting it in our database, which means that we are not sending this data from frontend to backend so that the backend could save that to the database. Let's fix that. Let's start by implementing the logic on the backend. In order to do that, we need to have an endpoint to which we can send the data uh, of a new task so that it's persisted. Right now, we have only one endpoint which is the task. So if I trigger a get on the task, I'm getting a JSON with all the tasks that are in the database. So I would like to now be able to send a data. So I need a new route uh, to cover this scenario. And that's really simple. We just need to go to our features, task, controllers. And this is the first route, which is the, the task slash tasks where we are getting all the tasks from the database and then just returning it to the, uh, to the caller. So now we would need another action here and this will be create. So this is the convention in Kretis. So we need a function which will be uh, a handler and uh, let's do this like that. And now we need, so here we'll be having a params and we will be returning uh, something to the user. So let's see if it works. So if I trigger now the uh, post request, I'm getting nothing because we are not returning anything. So let's say anything and I'm getting this response. I'm able now to trigger the post request on this route. So we can see if we are sending something. So for example, let's say that we want to have name. Uh, extracted from params and we will say that we are receiving that like so. So now if I redo the, the same request and I specify a parameter, I should be getting that. So the server is receiving that through this request. Let's see how we can first persist the data we are receiving in this, in this handler. I need to get the database or rather here and let's use an alias so it's more convenient and I can just say db task insert name and don will be uh, false by default. We need to change it so we need to make our function asynchronous and of course we need to return something. So in this case we will return created to signal to the caller that this resource is created on the server. So we, we just need to get response namespace and um, created wrapper. And now if I trigger the same request, I should be able to have it stored, persisted in our database. So let's see if it works. But if, before we do that, Let's see the content of our database first. So I go to the SQL tools we covered in the previous episode. The connection is already pre-configured for us and we can go to public tables and we only have one table task. And I can click this little icon here and I see that I have four tasks, IDs and a done status, which is the same I'm seeing here in our application. So now, if I trigger this route, let's say a task from the command line. 
So it's created. Let's refresh the view. It's there. And then in our database, it's also added. So we created this endpoint, this uh, route, which responds to the post requests and receives some data from the caller. So now we need to put, we need to connect, we need to just execute the same request from within our Vue.js free component. So for that, I can just go to uh, task component. And here we have this uh, first request. So when we are getting all tasks, and here is the action add tasks, which is connected to the button. So whenever I click add, the add task is being triggered on click. And here we are doing this uh, thing called optimistic update, which means that we are pushing the task on top of the task in the application state on the front end, which means that's the reason why it appears without being stored on the server, because we are just changing this volatile state on the client. So in order to persist that, we just need to trigger this HTTP POST request we are, we've just executed from the command line. And again, we will be using Kai. So this time it will be POST. Uh, the route is the same. And we need to pass a JSON. So we need to say name, state, new task. I'm sorry, like that. And that's all. Let's double check it. It seems good. So now if I add it here, it's being added as before, but now I need to refresh and it's persisted. To double check, let's go again to the database. Let's trigger and it's here. And we successfully persisted a task in a database by creating this RESTful uh, route, which responds to the HTTP POST method, a method that is supposed to send data to the server. Yeah, we could do some refactoring here, uh, but I will leave it like that for now. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.